Hi YouTube, um, it is Kayla aka The Slim Down Is Real and I am coming to you with a seven week post-op video. Well, six and seven week post-op video because I missed my video last week due to being so busy. One, excuse the head wrap. I just came in from a walk and I just need my hair up. It was just too hot. It's so hot here in Canada. Well, in Toronto, it's like 29 degrees already and it's only... 9 36 in the morning so it's a hot one um so yeah i missed my six week post-op video um i'd been really busy planning a baby shower from well helping to plan a baby shower for my cousin which we had on sunday and it was so nice so sweet um so that literally consumed me for the past like two weeks um so when i last came to you I believe I was 2.54, I think. Um, but last week, my week six post-op, I was 2.51.8, which would be roughly a three pound drop. And this week, I weighed in today, and I'm 2.46.8. So that's five pounds in one week. Woo! Um, I haven't been doing anything differently. Actually, um, I went to my one month post-op appointment. It was really about five weeks after my surgery and, um, sorry, my dog is outside and I'm making sure he's not messing around with bees. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, it was about, it was roughly five weeks post-op that I went for my one month follow-up and I was describing the way I've been eating. I've been measuring exactly three ounces and I wouldn't really deviate from that unless it was a soup. Soups are the only thing I can get away with um, as far as like being able to have a little bit more. And the nutritionist said that she she's happy that I am tracking and that I'm, I'm weighing. She told me to continue weighing. Um, she's like, but really your stomach should be able to tell you whether or not you're eating more. So if you're just consistently eating three ounces, three ounces, three ounces, how do you know if you like that's what your limit is? And I said, well, I've, I feel like I found my limit once and I don't want to find it again. So she just told me to entertain her and try four ounces. So I tried four ounces yesterday. Yesterday was the first day I tried four ounces and actually it was okay. Um, I could eat basically everything except for one spoon so I think I can I think I can have three and a half ounces and then I'll be okay so that's good um before I could only have like when I first had the surgery I could only have two ounces maybe and or maybe even one I don't know max two and I'd be like <laughs> so now I'm at three and a half and they say roughly over your lifetime well as long as this surgery is successful you can have between four to eight ounces in a sitting. And eventually, most people find that they can have um, eight ounces, like in the future, future. But I'm like, oh, I'm only like, I'm not even two months out. Like, I don't wanna be at four ounces already. But she said that's normal. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, last week I started working out. Like, well, I started walking. I'm still only clear to walk and swim, but I don't really like swimming. So I've been walking. I've been doing about at least 30 minutes. Sometimes it's more. Um, every day, basically. And my, I go to physio currently. So my physiotherapist is going to incorporate more, like, strength training in our sessions. So... That'll be good, but I'm still not cleared for anything that involves the um, abdominal area, and I guess that's normal. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I've done differently. Can't think of anything else that I've, did, I've done differently. Uh, no, that's basically it. So again, I'm really sorry that I missed last week, and um, I hope everyone is doing well. I have not watched any videos I think I only watched one, and that's because while I was laying in bed last night, that person, chemistry queen, she had just uploaded a video, so I watched it. 
but I do have to go back and watch everybody's. I hope everyone's doing well and um, yeah, I haven't even been updating my Instagram either. It's just been such a crazy, it's been like a crazy couple of weeks and this week is going to be like my chill week, but next week it's going to be crazy again because of the wedding that I'm in. Oh yeah, did I tell you guys? I don't even know. So my bridesmaid's dress, I tried it on and it's falling off. So I have to get it de like uh, tailored. I'm happy, but I'm like, oh man, this is like, this was like a really great dress, <laughs> but no, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, cause the nurse that gave me my cancellation appointment, she said that I'm going to have to buy a new dress and I'm like, yeah, right. And here I am like literally holding my boobs because the dress is just falling off. But my aunt, thank God is a seamstress. So, or a seamstress on the side. Um, so she's gonna fix it for me, so thank goodness for that. Anyway, um, yeah. I hope everyone's doing well. And if you have not yet, please click like and subscribe. And I will try and subscribe, well not try, I will subscribe back. Um, but yeah, I'm really thirsty and I'm really hungry and I'm about to have my morning shake. Every morning. That, I can't. I can't do breakfast food. Here I go talking on again. I can't do like breakfast. It's really hard for me. So I've compromised by having a shake that I've put some fruits in. And yeah, hopefully that does it. All right. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Click like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.